morning, afternoon, evening people. Welcome back to the channel. It's the first time here. I'm Tony. This is Teddy. Got something a little bit different for you today. I've got this folded solar panel off Timu. I want to test it. See how effective they are. Now, I did have one years ago, an expensive one, about twice the size of this. Don't know what happened to it. And with the recent blackouts and power cuts in Spain and Portugal and stuff, I thought, right, why have I not got something? I have actually got a 50 watt panel with a charge controller at home. But this is easy plug and play. It's cost me £8 of Timu. I'll link it in the description of the video. I don't think the original price was £8, but a little trick with Timu. So if you fancy something, put it in your basket, don't check out. Then you start getting push notifications saying, oh, this item in your basket has been reduced, etc, etc. So in the end, I've got it for £8. Now, I've got this. Power bank with solar. I've had this years. I've had this about five years now. It's getting to the stage where I think I'm going to I'm gonna have to replace it. Because the battery's not always as much charge for as long. But this does work. I've tested this in the field. Not on video, but it works. I'll link these in the description video as well but maybe that panel you can charge a power bank you can charge your phone if you've got reception I've also got one of those little radios with a solar panel on it and you can wind it to charge it charge that up maybe still get some news on top of that it's a little bit of electricity that's out of control of the man so I'm going to test this I'm going to test it on something that's familiar to everybody test it on a mobile phone if you are a regular to the channel, you know this is not my normal backdrop. I'm actually on a holiday staying in a log cabin in Devon. Usually at the allotment, growing food, but the apiary, keeping bees, producing honey. Anyway, wireless phone charger. I can only wirelessly charge with this phone at the moment because that port's knackered. I'm going to show you the phone is currently at 45%. So what we're going to do is probably charge it 10%, see how long that takes. Multiply that by 10, see how effective it is, how long it would take you to charge a phone with that little panel. So I'll take you over to a location where we've got a bit of full sun, I'm going to charge it, and I'll give you a close look at the panel. So I don't know what I'm expecting from this panel of £8, but I've, I've tested it of sorts. I plugged my phone into it yesterday to see if it would actually charge a phone, and it did start charging. So this will be a proper test now. Foldable panel, it's got these clips on here and two little um, carabiners come with it so you can strap it to your backpack. And there's two USB ports there, I don't know if you see a red light, turn it this way. When it's getting sun, that red light will light up to say that it's generating power. This is the spot I've chosen. I'm going to angle the panel up. angle towards the sun. So there's my panel. There's the sun. As you can see, it's ideal conditions, with hardly any clouds. Not a bit of cloud cover every now and then. You see there's a cloud there now, a small one. And it's 10.35 a.m. So maybe midday, not that performance. Anyway, bang the phone on charge. As you can see that it started charging. It started charging, if you can see on the screen, 45%. So it's 45%, 1035 AM. What I'm probably going to do is charge it by 10%, see how long that takes, and then multiply that by 10. So I'm still over at the cabin, looking over at the panel, and I can see that potentially the grass is shading the panel a little tiny bit at the bottom. So to change the configuration, I'm just going to put the panel up on a chair up there, just so there's no chance of it being skewed by those little bits of grass. 
because believe it or not, even one cell being covered can drastically reduce the, the uh, efficiency of a panel. So that's what I've gone for now. You can see by the shadow of the chair and the panel that it's indirect sun. Okay, I've had to change the configuration a little bit because the wind kept blowing it down. But let's let you know we've had one cloud. We've had one cloud come up, pass over just for about two minutes. Okay, so I'm quite surprised by the results. It's now been 45 minutes. Let me show you. 45 minutes. Fifty-five percent. So it's charged the phone by ten percent in forty-five minutes. So by that then, I've done the maths. It takes you seven and a half hours to charge your phone, which to me, for a really cheap little panel like that, off TMU, of all places, pretty impressed. If you had a bigger one, maybe double the size, be double effective, wouldn't it? So. Any good? Yeah, definitely. If you're out camping, hiking, maybe you want to charge a little radio so you can listen to some music at night or listen to the news, or you need to charge your phone if you're using it minimally, or charge a little head torch or power bank, anything like that. Yeah, quite effective. Ideal conditions though today, bear in mind, apart from that one cloud for a couple of minutes. So bear in mind that's in ideal conditions. So yeah, electricity, out of control of the man, in the middle of nowhere, really cheap. Link's in the description, not sponsored by the way. If you enjoy that video and want to see more usually gardening and beekeeping videos, I do do the odd review, product review and test. Do hit subscribe, thanks for watching. Have a good day.